It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Hey, today we're going to talk about Toshiba. They're back in the news. Let me get on the Sharp Interactive Board. I'm going to pull up the article. Folks, the old CEO stepping down. The new CEO is coming up within the ranks. But read the headlines when they make the announcement for the new CEO. The new Toshiba CEO vows to see things from an activist investor's view. Do you remember that video I did about a week and a half where I was talking about Toshiba? They're going to split the company into two now. They have a big board meeting coming up here in, in a couple of weeks. And, and folks, there's a lot of controversy going on at Toshiba. But in that video I did about a week and a half ago, I was talking about how the shareholders and the activist investors are saying it's going to take the ruthlessness, the ruthlessness of private equity and activist investors to kind of clean up Toshiba. And of course, the Toshiba board was saying, oh, no, no, we don't believe it's going to take the ruthlessness of activist investors or private equity. Well, it appears that maybe the board has a rethinking because now the new CEO is saying, well, maybe we ought to think about what these activist investors' points of view are. Maybe we should take them into account. Folks, we know who he's talking about, right? We know who the new CEO of Toshiba is talking about when he talks about activist investors regarding Toshiba. Well, look no further than our friend Murakami. Murakami heads up Ipsmo Capital, and they have a 9.9% stake at Toshiba. Murakami also has a 19% stake in Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you're in the print sector, those friends of mine that sell supply and service print equipment, and in that last video, I talked about how Toshiba Tech was going to get sold off. They were going to divest themselves of the ownership in Toshiba Tech, which, by the way, Toshiba Glomer, they have the majority stake in Toshiba Tech, okay? And Toshiba Tech... It's not realistic that they're going to buy out the Toshiba, Toshiba conglomerate and have Toshiba Tech 100% own. What for? It's a $3.8 billion business. Do you really think a $3.8 billion business is going to have a manufacturing plant and they're going to do all these things like they're, like they're a regular OEM? Absolutely not. But what really makes sense, it's probable, and probabilities become reality quicker than ever, is that Mirakami convinces Toshiba to go ahead and sell off Toshiba Tech to Rico. And with a 19% stake ownership in RICO, he could probably get the RICO board to agree to do it. Think of the ad backs. They'd be off the chart. RICO gobbles up Toshiba Tech. So much redundancy goes away immediately. They don't have to worry about selling those customers new Toshiba equipment when those old deals expire. They'll just replace it with RICO, folks. We all know this is a real probability. And we all know the numbers of Toshiba Tech. Let's think about it logically. It's a $3.8 billion business. They had a profit of $130 million, a 3% operating profit. Folks, the print business is $1.6 billion. A $1.6 billion print business is like Rico opening up a lemonade stand. Let's just be honest. It's small. It's a small percentage of what Rico is as a total, right? They could gobble this thing up in a second. And if they did, they'd end up with a $2.3 billion retail business to go along with it. What could Rico do with that? Folks, the ad backs, when Rico gobbled up Toshiba, tech would be off the chart. They could, they, could, they could immediately make profit on that. They could clean up so much redundancy. We're going to have consolidation. I know if you work at Toshiba Tech, and I know if you've been a, you know, a Toshiba fan your whole life, hearing stuff like this is pretty upsetting, but it's the reality. There has to be consolidation, and if you look at the OEMs, if you look at the conglomerates, if you think about Toshiba Tech, Three point eight billion folks. They're the smallest on the. They're the smallest in the room. They're the smallest in the room, especially when it's regarding print. And what is that thing really, really worth on its own? And do you really believe that Toshiba Tech could put the money together to take out the Toshiba conglomerate? You'd have to be a little naive to believe that, folks. I want to go on the record just say it this way. I believe that Toshiba Tech will either go to our good friends over at Rico, or they're going to go to our good friends over at Sharp through Foxconn. One or the other. It's going to happen. And it's going to happen pretty soon. They're going to have a board meeting, the Toshiba conglomerate, in March, a couple of weeks from now. They're going to decide to split that thing off into two. And then they're going to decide to divest themselves to some of the properties. And Toshiba Tech is going to be one of those properties that gets divested. A lot of things to think about, my friends, but we have to have consolidation. And everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.